Okay, this is going to be a discussion and demonstration on performing a field test for specific gravity determination. Uh, it's an Iowa DOT test procedure specified in IM 307, described also in the instruction text. Uh, hopefully this has already been discussed in your classroom uh, in regards to the purpose of this test and the a description of the test procedure. So again, this is a demonstration of that process. This demonstration will be, utilized, uh, be utilizing only a coarse aggregate intended for use in Portland cement concrete. The actual test procedure is the same for both coarse aggregate for concrete and Portland cement concrete sand. The difference in the two processes is sample preparation. So we'll be discussing that as we go, and again, that is described in the IM307. Our first process is going to be calibrating a pycnometer jar. For those of you who haven't been out in the field, these are what we're referring to as pycnometer jars. A one quart with an appropriately sized lid supplied with a uh, gasket to seal it that fits a one quart jar, and of course, a larger lid for the two quart jar. Historically, we've used a two-quart jar with a 2,000 gram sample of coarse aggregate and a one-quart jar for a 1,000 gram sample of concrete sand. Quite a few years ago, we were having issues getting two-quart, so the DOT changed the test procedure to allow a 1,000 gram sample of coarse aggregate in the one-quart jar. So for practicality, I'm going to be working with the one quart jar and a 1,000 gram sample of coarse aggregate. Our first step, in my opinion, is to calibrate the pycnometer. And I'm just using standard tap water. I'm going to fill the jar up. Just sit that right down there on the towel for the time being. If we were doing this test for real in the field at the ReadyMix or PC paving plant, we need to maintain water temperature. The water temperature, as it says in the 307, needs to be plus or minus three degrees at time of calibration and at time of test. And again, demonstration, I'm not going to worry about the water temperature. So, got the jar almost full of water and it is permissible, some people would prefer to use a bottle to finish filling up the lid, but I'm just going to use the tap. And now I'm going to towel over here. What I look for with this style of lid, we can either have a exactly flush, but I actually like to have a little bead personally on top. I don't know if you can pick that up with the camera, but I like to have the bead. That gives me a better eyeball on whether the jar is sealed or not. If that bead is staying put, the jar is sealed, drying off all the way around underneath the rim. And then we need to weigh this. I'm weighing to determine the P weight, the calibrated pycnometer weight, and recording it on the form we use in our class. That has a spot to put the P weight. And it is 1,483.4. 